welcome or welcome back to California Garden Goddess, where we help you grow a green thumb and make the most of what you produce, no matter where you live. Now, today we're in one of my favorite spots, basically on the entire planet, in the shade of one of my favorite trees. And this is the Majestic Oak at the California Botanic Garden in Claremont, California. Now, one of the reasons why this is one of my favorite places to go is because they have a native plant nursery that's open on weekends and I think Fridays and weekends um, when it's time to plant your native plants, which is right now. Um, there's also just the best variety of native plants and there's always something blooming here from California. Um, so I'm going to go around today and show you some of my favorite plants, show you what's blooming here in the garden in February and really have like a nice wellness Wednesday walk where we walk around the garden. So join me as they walk around this California Botanic Garden together for the first time. Okay, so here we're at the California Plant Communities and there are 55 acres where they have all the different parts of California. Uh, you can go to the Channel Islands, which is like includes Santa Catalina Island, Chaparral, Joshua Tree Woodland, California Fan Palms, the Pinion Juniper Woodland, Baja California, Coastal Sage Scrub, Conifer Country, Bay Laurels, and Oak Woodland. There's every kind of community, really, of California plants here. It's an absolutely amazing spot. This is the Bay Laurels part of the Botanic Garden, and it's not, there's not a lot of stuff blooming right now, but I'm hearing some wonderful birds calling, so I'm going to be going down in this direction. One of the many plants that I love that are native to California are manzanitas. This beautiful manzanita is blooming right now, and it's actually the Santa Catalina Island manzanita. So these are specialists in Santa Catalina Island, which is off the coast of Southern California. Beautiful tree is the Santa Cruz Cypress. How gorgeous that is. Wow. Here is a grouping of the Dark Star Ceanothus. Ceanothus, if you don't know already, is the California Lilac. Look at how beautiful these blooms are just starting. Look at that. Let me see if it smells. It doesn't smell like anything to me yet, but this may not be the one that one of the ones that smells nice, or I just maybe they're not open enough yet. Absolutely beautiful plant. Okay, so I might butcher the name of this one, but it's a Malvaceum. The variety is their Take a Beauty. Absolutely beautiful flowers. These dangling pink flowers. So cute. Oh, this is a beautiful one. I think I want to try to add one of these to my garden. I can find it. Okay, so that one that I didn't know the name of and I couldn't pronounce is actually the Southern Chaparral Current. So that's their Take of Beauty. Oh, I love it. So pretty. Okay, this one's beautiful. This is the Dancing Tassels Chaparral Current. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. They call it Dancing Tassels, and you can see why they move as the wind kind of tosses them about and they dance. Oh, beautiful. Whoa, guys, look at this. This is a sugar bush, but it looks more like a sugar tree to me. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful, has these gorgeous little pink, are they flowers? I think they're flowers. Oh, I think these are just the buds. They're not blooming yet. Wow. I think it's going to be really, really beautiful once it starts blooming. Now this Catalina Island mountain mahogany has really spread and kind of like taken over this whole area, but it's beautiful. And it's so rare. There are actually only seven of these trees left in their wild where they live. So having this one here is probably a great way to expand the diversity of the species. Uh, apparently there's only a certain kind of soil that they really like. I wonder if they brought it in here, if they brought some soil in from Catalina Island to plant this one. Uh, this is a truly amazing tree. Super excited to see my first California poppies of the year. Yay, California poppies. Oh, so nice to see these. I love these flowers. One of my favorites of all time. A pretty native plant that blooms almost year round in my garden too. This is Verbena de la Mina. Beautiful California native cultivar. Absolutely just gorgeous. I love how the 
flowers dance in the breeze. Okay, guys, I love native plants, but I love our native pollinators even more. This is a male Costas hummingbird, which are actually kind of rare to see. Um, usually you see the Allens and the Anna's hummingbirds. I haven't seen too many of these, but they're just so beautiful. And it really loved this manzanita. Um, it was just totally just very, just as you could tell, these native plants bring in the na native pollinators and it's just so important. Thank you so much for joining us today on our tour of the California Botanic Garden. We hope that you like and subscribe so you can catch more content, especially content on California native plants. Thank you and have a great day. Catch you in the next video. Bye. Music